today's episode of our 4G63T Dodge Colt Swap. We pull off the front end to start cutting and grinding so that we can route our intercooler piping to our front mount intercooler. Finally, with the front end cleared, we can start cutting metal for the intercooler piping. Ryan, which uh, driver's side mount do you want to try using? Um, doesn't matter for markup purposes. Where's the one that came out of the car? Huh? Where's the one that came out of the car? Came out of the car ain't gonna work. It's too short. Oh. So it will fit here. Those mounting holes are fine. Oh. What I'm doing in my car is I'm just chopping it right here. Yeah. But you're gonna want that. Agreed. Well, this car has really four mounts. There's a rear mount, which is here. Right? Yeah. A front mount, which is there. It has a driver's side mount, which is here. And then it also has a <laughs> transmission mount. So this part bolts to the car, like so. And this part bolts to here, and then it bolts to the trans. But this is off of Colt. And this is off of Colt. For my right hand, well your left is the Colt, and your right is a DSM. So we're gonna bolt this to the Colt. But now we're going to need this part. We're using this driver's side mount from a Gen 1 PSM. We're using the all-wheel drive. All -wheel drive. We're using the front motor mount from the Dodge Colt, which actually bolts right up to the 46th Street. And then this is the rear mount out of the Dodge Colt. This is a 1.5 mount that bolts on to the 46th Street, but we're going to slightly modify it. So, you can see. Did you see how this hole is farther that way than, than this hole? Well, let me try one more, Ryan. Do you have a longer bolt than that? I got a longer bolt than that. That's a flywheel bolt, you know? I need one more, one more of those cool washers that you just gave me. Cool washer? One more? One more of these. These washers. Those are hard and steel. That'll be perfect because this is going to be a motor mount. That's the name. After mocking up the engine several times, we eventually used a mix of DSM and stock Colt motor mounts. The front, rear, and transmission mounts are from the 4G15 driver's side mount is from a first gen all-wheel drive DSM. We eventually got the proper turbo Mirage engine mounts and these got the engine more square in the engine bay. But for doing this swap in one weekend, 
This mix of DSM and Cobalt Mouse worked fine. Well, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. The axles are pretty lined up where they should be, though. And they're not going to have much angle to them to reach the hubs. In fact, it could afford them. Next time, we prep the motor for final installation.